So this is Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Kala Sauerland. Kala, how are you? I'm very well, Dan. How are yourself? I'm good. I think yeah. a few people predicted what this morning's announcement was going to be, but that doesn't make it any the less powerful. Um, just tell us how it came about, the link up between yourselves at Wasserman and Channel 5. You know, I mean, we've been in discussions for a while, as I think a lot of other pilots have been as well. Um, it's such a fantastic platform. It's, uh, you know, second to none in the UK in terms of, you know, the free-to-air angle, the viewing numbers. And we feel that we have a great stable in the UK now and that will get even bigger um, week for week. Um, and I think it's, you know, I think we'll bring um, an air of consistency uh, let's call it to the channel. Um, I think we'll add a lot from the Wasserman world outside of boxing into it as well, which you know will take place gradually. It won't be something that will just happen overnight. But I think you know we'll work very much hand in hand inside and outside the ring to make it a very very special um, boxing product. You know, making it sound really boring now on our boxing. Yeah, product, but, <laughs> yeah you've ruined but, it. But, but, yeah, but, 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 but that's the way I sort of need to. to you asked me how. What, what I think it does. And I, I think that part there is, is uh, that's the fundamentals, consistency, regular boxing, um, regular names, um, and, and some fun, you know, let's add some, let's add some fun to it, you know, let's add some, you know, I don't know, uh, um, some Jermaine Defoe side commentary, some some real beast Akin Fenwar um elements to it you know all these things are inside the Watson world and you know there's so many big boxing fans in other sports outside the industry and we have to think a little bit different you know i saw a lot of comments oh they're going to do undercards on channel five and everything else like, they're not going to do undercards on channel five because channel five is a, is a big terrestrial station which means we will go in from i don't know a quiz show chat show a, a movie which is fantastic for the sport because we've got to our goal is going to be to keep those viewers from flipping over to, you know, the other big terrestrials on, on a on a Friday or a Saturday night, and that's the challenge. So we've got to think outside the box. Um, that's what we're doing. That's what we present, and that's something that we're, we're going to be doing. And um, so there will be quite a few quirky surprises, um, but ultimately, you know, it's all based on great boxing, and um, that's that's what we we intend to deliver. You know, we've done. Lots of free to air in the outside of the UK. Um, still hold the 22 million viewing record in Germany, um, which is somewhere where we want to get to with Channel Five. I'm not saying I want to get 22 million in a year, but um, you know we, we intend to grow those numbers uh, very aggressively. Before we um, talk a bit more about the deal, you mentioned the undercards there. Where will they be um, available? That, that, then that, that's sorry, I should have continued on that point. I mean, there's there's a there's a host of options on uh, around the Channel Five and the whole Viacom structures, and that's something that they they also are very keen on on looking at, and that's something that you know that's really their expertise, and and you know, but it's something that if you go on the lines of what I just said about the consistency and the storytelling and the storylines then it makes it much easier also for the broadcaster to introduce new main events. But once again, it, it is very different to doing a night on, on Sky Sports Boxing or, or on, on BT Sports Boxing, where you've got that natural hardcore. Yes, that natural hardcore will watch Channel 5, but really we need to be bringing over the, the casuals, maybe even on sports fans, you know, maybe it's... Uh, uh, you know, a completely different demographic who's been watching watching a quiz show on there before. And it's about keeping that viewer entertained around boxing, you know. So that's that's really the, the, the key challenge here. When you were talking to the guys at Channel 5, obviously they've been working with Hennessy Sports for quite some time. Was there any sort of compare and contrast there? Kind of you can offer something that, Perhaps Hennessy haven't in the last few years in terms of that crossover casual fan base appeal. No, I mean I, I just I, I, we don't we didn't focus on anyone else apart from our offering. Um, I think you know Mick is uh, one of the best matchmakers in the business. I think uh, he's got some fantastic fighters. 
Um, no, we, we just went with our line, and I think there was a lot of different promoters speaking to, to Channel 5. Um, it wasn't just us. It was, I mean, three, four, five different different uh, promoters, and we weren't, we weren't sure who we were up against. And, you know, we didn't know whether we'd get part of it or hold the whole thing. And, you know, of course, we were delighted to get the nod on the, on the whole thing. And, and that's it. It, but it's, it's something we take very seriously. It's a responsibility because I think it, you know, I grew up in the in the in the nineties in, in London watching watching free to air boxing, uh, mm. and that's where it all stems from. Of course, you know there's the big pay per view fights, and and we know all know that you know that certain fights require in the UK a, a, an element of pay per view. I mean, I've done massive fights in Germany, uh, which would be pay per views in the UK, and 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 the, the terrestrial broadcasters have picked up the check. Um, in the UK, they pick up a check on big national team matches, but it's, of course, a, a different situation when it comes. Would you do a, you know, um, I don't know, a, a, a Eubank Billy Joe Saunders on free to air? It would take someone to step up to the plate, of course. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if you can show it makes sense down the road, you know, let's, let's, but let's get, let's get down that road. Let's, let's work on building it. And you know that you know at the end of the day, broadcasting business is 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 probably as tough as being a Premier League manager. You know, it's all about the numbers. It's about increasing those numbers aggressively. You know, um, and and that's it's 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 a it's it's a big responsibility we have now to to to, to deliver on a, on a free to air platform in the UK. And I think me and you, Dan, have been spoken for many years, but I've always said we're not UK promoters. We've had big names in the UK, George Groves, David Hay, Agogo, David Price. I could give you a long list of names and, and, and events we've promoted together with UK promoters, you know, Kester Frotch, um, big, big events over the years. I remember the, 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 the Smith, um, uh, the Smith Abraham sagas. And, and, you know, so I think we've done probably over a, over 100 events already with, with, with Sky and other broadcasters in the UK over the years but we've never put the flag down from um ultimately um being a uk promoter i think that's today um i think that that that's clear but well, yes we quickly and quietly assembled um, what we consider a very very interesting stable um and you know from 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 the, the poster boy eubank junior all the way down to you know, people making their pro debuts, Chloe Watson trained by uh, by Ricky Hatton or Razor Ali, you know, great storyline coming out of London. Uh, uh, you know, there's there's fantastic names coming through. And then you saw on the middle, you've got guys who've featured already on on the, the, the two big boxing networks mm -hmm. in the UK. And, and that before, I'm not mentioning DAZN because they weren't existing at the time, but that if you look at uh, Nathan Gorman, um, you know, was a regular feature on BT, or you look at Josh Kelly, who was very much pushed by sky and you know and those those are storylines that you know i believe we can we can we can cover we can match and we can build and you know one thing uh in the uh in the history of the formerly known as team sourland uh thing is that we've rarely put on in bulk talent you know um we've mostly produced them from o and o and and take them all the way through and, and that's something that We've never had a stable of 50, 60 fighters. I think the most fighters we ever had was around 45 fighters. And, and it was almost too much. And, you know, we, we look at now with the Wasserman element to it, there is that infrastructure. Remember me babbling on to you a year ago about <laughs> the 1,200 employees, 30 offices, et cetera, et cetera. But that infrastructure allows us to go and do that uh, with a lot more fighters uh, in a lot more countries. And now I think with with this deal, obviously, you know, we're working together with uh, with, with Sky Sports and Design as well. Um, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of ground today to say yes, yes, we we are now obviously promoting in the UK on a regular basis, and uh, and and you can you can add us into that pile. Now, you make juniors obviously co-promoted with Boxer at the moment. Is he the only fighter no, in your... No, we have a deal with Boxer, just to correct. We have a deal with Boxer and Sky. Well, the, deal, the deals with Boxer for Sky dates. And the Eubank is a, is a Wasserman fighter. Okay. Apologies. 
Um, but is he the only one in essence that may be excluded from the Channel 5 deal because of the deal with Sky? Yeah, I mean, the, the, his, his level of fights at the moment is is something that, of course, is is not currently in the in the remit. Yeah, so the time down the road, you never say never, you know. Uh, but we, we we're focusing at the moment on putting together a big big fight in the summer for for um, for Junior, which would be a box office fight. So we're talking free to air here. Um, that's why I specifically haven't used those names. The link is obvious. Uh, and where this journey takes us with Channel 5, it's so exciting and so fresh. Um, I don't know. Um, we mustn't forget uh, Channel 5 is, uh, is a Viacom business and it's, it's, a, it's a massive monster of an enterprise. And, you know, you just need to look at the media industry today in any, in any country and see the changes of, of what's happening. You know, I mean, uh, whether it's own going global, uh, you know, we all talk about the zone going into the UK, but the zone went global, you know, went to every single market, you know, and you see that in, in terms of matchroom going into all these different countries. And that's all fantastic for the sport, you know. Um, you know, I think that there's, if you look at the month that Sky's put on now, um, what a fantastic month, you know, for, for boxing. You know, we talk about the controversy we see from last weekend, but... Leave that aside. The, the, the month of boxing on Sky has been, been, you know, I think it's a massive month, of, a huge, huge month of boxing. And then you've got this big zone schedule announced, and you know, now we pop up with this. Um, I think it's it's great. And yet, yesterday there was also a, a small press conference at Wembley Stadium, at least with one boxer. But, <laughs> so it's 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 nice, and I, I don't like to go out and pick on you know saying we're better than this or they're better than that. Yeah, we should go and do their job. It's business, you know, and you know, focus like that. You know, so I think when when you when you get into a position, you need to work with other promoters. We will be working with other promoters in this position, and we always have done. And and you know that's why you get big fights made. You name me a big fight outside of Perth that hasn't been done in recent times without co-promotions or some co-promotional setting, you know, and, you know, it's, it's Sky that's working with, with, with Boxer, with on the zone, we're working with Matchroom, you know, um, with Bergovic, for example. And those are things that, you know, that, that that's part of the business these days, you know, um, where this journey leads uh, is exciting, you know. Uh, how long is the deal? And when will your first show be as part of it? Um, all we're saying today is it's a it's a it's a substantial multi-fight deal. Can't blame um, you for trying. Sorry, got, got, I've got to go corporate on you there, Dan. Uh, but then the first show will be in May. It will be in London, and more will follow in the next couple of days. Who, who are we here. headlining? Um, be a UK fighter. <laughs> I've got really corporate one, on me now. You set that one up. Dan. I know. Um, up. Let's talk about a couple of things outside of the Channel 5 deal yeah. in the time we've got left. You mentioned a yeah. big box office fight for Junior in the summer. Is that likely to yeah. be Kell Brook? Well, let's take a couple of minutes on it. I can't answer that in, in two seconds, though, so I'm happy to spend a couple of minutes on that to explain. You've got two real routes where it, at a crossroads in the decision of, on the next fight. And um, one is these big UK blockbusters that are, are, are being bandied around. You know, there's probably three, someone else mentioned even another couple of names to me, but but there's three that are being talked about a lot in, in, in all sh shapes and forms of the media these days. And that's, you know, let's talk openly, it's Brooke, it's Ben, it's, uh, it's uh, Billy Joe, of course, mm -hmm. who will always be mentioned. <laughs> Uh, and then you look the other route, um, you know, someone else mentioned me, you know, like Liam, Liam Smith, John Ryder, you know, Liam Smith was well, a very big fight coming up. Um, it wins that, it puts him very much up there on the domestic front as well. John Ryder just had a fantastic uh, win over Danny Jacobs. Congrats to, to John, very, very nice man, gentleman, and a great boxer. Uh, but those are fights on the one hand, and on the other hand, we have the, the world titles. And, and that is something that's burning, a burning desire within the Eubank family, and especially, obviously, with Junior, uh, that that's on the list this year. So we're looking at both routes. The, the issue I could tell you openly on the, on, the, on the world title front is there's so many 
pieces we have to wait on at the moment in terms of the federations. Mm. I'm not delighted that Murata Golovkin is now confirmed to go ahead on April the 9th. Let's see. Um, but if, but it, on the other hand, I'm very happy because it takes two things off my desk that I don't need to look at anymore. And it takes two belts off the desk that we don't even need to look at until later in the year. You know, um, they let them fight April 9th. I wish... Uh, Mr. Honda and all involved in that in that great show, and, and I hope for boxing that the fight happens um, uh, in, in, in Japan on May um, April 9th. Um, and then we'll look at that. We'll look at the winner of that. We have a WBA position there as well, so that might be something that that's actually called. Um, Who's the favourite right now? Uh, what in that fight or generally? No, for Eubank Junior. Um, no, I think. The, you know, the one that I guess has been mentioned the most is the one you mentioned started off with Brooke, of course, you know, um, both just fought on Sky. Um, you know, it reminded me a little bit of, of, of when we did Groves versus uh, Eubank in the, in, the, in, the, in the World Boxing Super Series. They fought a week apart and it was almost mm. like it was, you know, we had, you know, obviously Junior went out to watch the, the, the Brooke Khan fight and, and was a, was a, was a pundit on the night and you know sort of almost had that feel of it was all set up and it's all <laughs> done. It's, I can tell you people it's not done. Um and it's you know I think Junior's off recovering from a hand operation or not operation, sorry, hand injury, said to an operation injury <laughs> yeah, from the last fight, um, which he picked up early in the fight. Um he's got it's not nothing serious, he just needs a few weeks rest. Um but the, you know and that Time, I would also say, you know, Brooke, he said on Saturday, show me the money. We certainly will. <laughs> um, and then it'll be a question of the weight, you know. Um, and that's something which I don't want to get too involved in. It's, I'm, not, I'm not the guy getting in the ring, you know. I'm not the guy who's got to make weight. I would say, let's all be really, I see some, some comments out there like, oh, you've got to scheme to go up two weights and all this. I mean, for the, for one of the biggest mistakes of, of Junior's career early was was the 168. You know, I mean, he's you know, he's a, he's a 160 fighter, so don't don't make out we're trying to make a welter fighter a, a, a super mid. Yeah, um, complete nonsense. Um, I think that if they want the fight, the fight will get made, and the weight will not get in the way. Um, Brooke and 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 Julie should get on the scales maybe in ten days and we see where they both are. <laughs> yeah, I'd like well. to see that. <laughs> I'd like to see that. I'm telling you, I, I, my money's on that. Brooke's heavier. I don't but, think Kel began anywhere near a set of scales for a little while. No, yeah. I'm sure. And, and good, good on it. I'm sure he's had he's had one hell of a long camp, and and, and so is Junior. So um, I wouldn't ask him to get on the scales. That was more tongue in cheek. But uh, at the same time. Need to be realistic about it. Junior's not going to chop a leg off. Uh, there's enough fights out there for him to make. And at the same time, I think Kel will also maybe relish having a little bit of uh, an easier weighing um, than he's had at other points in his career. I mean, I remember, I remember we had Groves shooting off as the co-feature of when he boxed in Sheffield, yeah. and it was a hot day. And I remember uh, seeing Kel, and, and I know it was a different weight at the time, but he really. He, he didn't look too good um, before that. And you could see that he really, I mean, that, that's, that's, that's the toughness of our sport, pushing yourself to make those sort of weights. And I think Kel has done that a lot of his career. Um, and, you know, that, that takes it out of you. So, I mean, but once again, hey, it's, it's not a promoter's job to get too involved in weights. You know, we can only represent what our, our athlete can do. And his side is his dad, uh, his advisor, manager. Um, they can only say what they can do. And we can make that meet or not. And then we can talk turkey. But I think in terms of money, I don't think there's a bigger, bigger money out fight out there for Kel. You know, um, you know, uh, let's talk about Connor Ben um, as well. And let's talk about us and Connor Ben. So there seems to be a bit of a triangle going on there. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's, you know, I think the, 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 the money that can be generated um, around the Eubank fires is, 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 is going to be the bigger one. And final question, because I know there's a lot of people keen to talk to you. What, what did you make of Dillian White's absence from the Tyson Fury presser yesterday? Uh, you know, I think 
as a promoter, I would be, on the one hand, very pissed off. I, if I put down a $40 million bid and the, there was a no-show, um, there'd be issues. Now, <laughs> I've had a similar situation in the past <laughs> with uh, Klitschko Povetkin. Uh -huh. and, and I remember Povetkin didn't want to fly over for the, for the, for the presser. And, and I remember Vladimir standing with, with Povetkin uh, at the press conference on a poster and sort of put him next to him, in a way similar to what Tyson did yesterday, although Tyson was slightly more comical about it. Um, but, you know, he, he, it's, it's not fair on the, on the promoter, I'd say. At, on, but to let's say give Dillian's defence, I don't know behind the scenes what's been going on around the splits and the whole ill feeling and this, that and the other. But let's look at what it does for the fight. It, it makes all eyes on the first press conference in fight week, unless they do one in between, which I don't, I don't think there's time for. Uh, it makes it, of course, you know, it's the first meeting. And in a way, you want that in fight week. And, and by not turning up yesterday, um, I think there's probably a hell of a lot of talk about it today because of not turning up. So is there such a promotional disadvantage? No, I don't think so. But at the same time, you pay 40 million for a, for a purse bid. It is what it is. You know, um, it's it's 40 something million dollars. And for that, you expect to have, um, a, a, you know, a, a fair a fair, 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 fair value for your money in terms of promoting the event and not and I have fires, not turn up to the press conferences. So I can I can fully understand, Frank, but once again, from Dillian's part, I wouldn't know what's what's been going on. Let's put it this way, I don't think there's the best of feelings around the thing, although, I mean, it is, it is $8 million plus four for winning, um, you know, if that were the case. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a bizarre one. Where, 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 I, I heard something about a private jet being offered. I think, where is the, did he in, in camp in Portugal? Or, yeah, Portugal. Or, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, it's, uh, it, it, and like I said, I think, it, I think it may, it, it's a nice build up for the press comments in fight week. <laughs> Good stuff. Kala, really, really appreciate your time. Delighted you've got a deal with a terrestrial broadcaster. Um, on to bigger things. Thanks, Dan. And um, look Thanks, forward to Dan. seeing the first show. And looking forward to seeing you soon, mate. Brilliant. Take care, mate. Speak to you soon. Take care. Over and out.